Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's video, we are going to install the wireless module to our OpenWRT router. For this video, I will be using the DR90VX from Wallis. This is the dual band wireless card that supports A02.11AC and backward compatible with A02.11AB, G and N. And as we can see, it supports three external antennas and the connector is mini PCIe so we can plug it in any of the device that have a mini PCIe connector for example we have this router board from Wally as well this is the DR4029 and it have the mini PCIe connector so we can just simply plug it in or we can plug it into this big OpenWRT guide that we have been used previously. This card is powered by the Qualcomm Atheros. So we all know that Atheros works really well with OpenWRT and their rival and firmware open source. So we can, how to say, this, we can customize and treat it in the way we want. So let's see how is the performance of this card in OpenWRT. So let's just install everything to the routers and we will move to the next step. We're back to the computer and the very first step, let's log into the router. You see, so there is no password sales and we can just click log in, right? And the very first step I would like to do is to set a password for it. So let's go to system. Sorry, it should be systems and administrators. And we just give it a password. Right, hit save. Let's navigate to network interfaces. And we have two interfaces, one for LAN and one for one. It's all good, all up and running. However, we have no wireless configuration page, right? Let's establish an attached connection to the router and have some checks there. So you can see 192.168.1.1, the port is 22 and hit open. Right, yes, and let's just log in. So it will be root and the password. Okay, so we are in open WRT 19.7.4 and let list the PCI. Alright, so list PCI not file because we are missing some of the package. But never mind, we can just fix this one by one. So first of all, let's update the package database. Just give it some time in order to have the list pci command you need to install the pci utility opkg install pci utilities all right good let lit pci right so as you can see from here the qualcomm address qca wireless module had been successfully recognized by the system but it did not show up in the Lucy because we haven't installed the firmware and the driver. So in order to have an external device, for example, the modem or a wireless module to work, we need to have the firmware and in general, a driver is a kernel module that talks to the hardware and the firmware is the software that runs on the hardware that talks to the driver. So make it simple, the firmware is on the wireless module and the rival is on OpenWRT and let's have a check on the specs of the wireless card right so here I have the specs from Wallis from this data sheet we see that the wireless module is running on the QCA 9 a 0 chipsets right so let's just go ahead and find the rival and the firmware for that and this is very easy, you need to copy that, go to google.com and then put it in and then open WRT right so should be something like that okay so we have the firmware 9A XCT and the rival all right 
So as we have just mentioned previously, we need a driver and a firmware. And this ATH10K that CT is our driver. And this ATH10K dash firmware that QCAAX dash CT that HTT is the firmware. Alright, so we are going to install it one by one. First of all, let's copy this package name and then go to OPKG that we have just opened previously. OPKG install. Right click, enter. Alright, perfect. And next, we need to install this driver. Right, so if you have a look, you have the technical references, Wildland Rival. So you may find your Wildland Rival here, and you may find your firmware on this page, right? So it will take some time to find the Rival and the firmware depends on the wireless module that you are using. Okay, so we installed the first one and let's do the second one. So OPKGs install right his enter. Alright, there is something wrong. Collected arrow. Okay, never mind. Let me try with the Lucy's. Let's go to system shopware and search for it. Alright. So this is the driver optimized for CT at 10 k firmware. So let's hit install, install. All right, perfect. So let's try to log out and let's log back in and see if we have the wireless module show up. Yep, perfect. We have the wireless module show up after install arrival and the firmware. All right, so we have the generic A02.11BG. This is not correct, right? So let's try to reboot it. All right, let's log back in. Let's go to network wireless. And as you can see, we have our Qualcomm address QCA 9AAA0. And we have the protocol BGN and AC. So it is all working fine. So let's go ahead and enable the radio first. And after that, click edit and then right, give it a name, it's x86, the wireless security. Right, so as you can see, we have an error message that WPA encryption requires WPA sublime for client mode or host APD for AB. Right, so we need to install this packet as well. So let's go back to dismiss and go to system, shopware and install this package right and we may need to update the database first because we have just rebooted perfect let's install the package all right so go back to network wireless Click edit and now we should have a WPA option. Not yet. Alright, so perhaps we need to perform another reboot. Or actually if you don't want to reboot, you can just simply run like service network restarts and we hope that it should work, but just for sure I will restart the router. All right, so we can see that we have the WPA2 PSK option right here. 
and we are good to go so i will give it a password and just leave everything at default i don't want to change anything x86 and hit save right and hit save and apply one more time so let me use the phone and connect to the wi-fi let me turn it on connecting to it all right is it 5g all right, so we can see that the signal is minus 41 decibel milliwatt because I'm staying nearby to the antennas and the noise is minus 103 decibel milliwatt, which is actually there no noise at all. On the RX ray, we have a 66.7 megabits per second, which is really good. Let's do a test and see how the performance of the wireless. So in order to test, I will connect my computer using the Ethernet cable to the routers and I will share some files on that. And I will be using another device to connect to the router via this wireless, the 5 gigahertz wireless. And I will try to download the file and we will see what is the throughput. So if you take a look, you can see that the RX ray is actually 1300 megabit per second. And this proof what Wally says is accurate. It's actually it's 1.3 gigabit per second according to their documentation. Alright, so let's back to the routers and let's go to status, real-time graph, and then traffic, and then wireless. Right? So let me back to the computers and I will be download some file shortly. Right, so I will be downloading a file to my computer. Right, so it's that. Right, so we can see that even though I'm trying to copy a file from Windows to Mac OS, but the speed can go up to 75 megabytes per second or 600 Mbps. So this is really good. And next, I will change this wireless from AC to N mode. And let's see how the performance, how the signal coverage. Okay, right. So I will change it to N and the band will be auto. All right, the width will put 40, for example, and everything, we just leave it there. Hit save and apply. So right now the wireless card is working in the end mode and we have the signal in minus 34 and the noise is minus 97, right? 98, somewhere around that. So now we are going to do a signal coverage or the signal strength test and I will have my phone connected to this wireless station to this x86 and I will go in around my house so I will pass some of the room and we will see if the signal is still strong or not. Right, so if you take a look right now, we have the X86 at minus 25 dBm and the Huawei minus 37 and the ALSVN in minus 43 and all the three Wi-Fi in my room. Okay, so I will be leaving my room and go to the living room and we will see how the signal change. So right now I am around 8 meters away from the Wi-Fi stations and as you can see we have the X86 in minus 61 dBm Y Huawei dropped to minus 74 and the ALSVN is almost gone. Where is it? 
and okay we have the ALSVN is minus 68 okay so we can see that the signals coverage of this wireless module is really really good and even though we are far away from the Wi-Fi station the signal the link is still 144 Mbps all right so basically that's all we have just successfully installed the wireless module to open the VRD and together we have find the firmware and the driver and we have configured it right so it's all working fine and I would like to take the chance to say thanks to Wallis for providing me this wireless module the DR90VX and you can check out the link in the video description to purchase from them or you can have any question to them then feel free to do it that's all for today if you see the video is helpful please like share and subscribe to the channel to support me hit the thumb up button if you like it and hit the thumb down button if you don't like it thanks for watching i will be see you guys in the next video bye bye